And a special thanks and shout out to Vintage Masterpiece in Whiteland, Indiana for allowing me to come out and film today. Today, we're going to be taking an in-depth walk-around look at this 1984 Mercedes-Benz 380SL R107 Hardtop Roadster. And this 380SL is in signal red, features the beige MB Tex leatherette interior. And these vehicles are rear-wheel drive. This one is powered by the 3.8 liter indirect injected, naturally aspirated, single overhead cam, 16 valve V8 engine. Uses the Bosch KE Jetronic fuel injection system. It creates 155 horsepower at 4,750 RPM and 196 pound-feet of torque at 2,750 RPM. They are good for a 0 to 60 mile per hour time in 10.7 seconds with a quarter mile speed of at 18.2 seconds at 75 miles per hour. Top speed is 115 miles per hour. They are mated to a four speed 4G Tronic automatic gearbox with low gear selection and engine braking feature. The Mercedes R107 SL class vehicle is a detachable hard top two seat roadster with a folding soft top. They were produced from 1971 to 1989, making them the second longest running single series Mercedes vehicle built right after the G-Class utility vehicles. They were replaced by the R129 SL class convertibles in 1989. With North America being the key market for personal luxury cars, a full two-thirds of the R107 production was sold to the United States. Due to unique US regulations, R107 cars that were destined for the market used a distinctive quad round sealed beam headlamps and 8 inch lengthened front and rear bumpers to meet US 5 mile per hour crash regulations. The final R107 after 18 years was a signal red SL500 built on August 4th 1989. It curr currently resides in the Mercedes Benz Museum in Stuttgart, Germany. All right, we're going to take a look inside. Nice attention to detail on the doors. As you can see, it's a thick door with polished stainless steel trim. You also have heavy door catches. The MBTEX leatherette is on the door panels with perforated texturized inserts, door mat pockets, and an armrest. Driver's side mirror is manually operated, but the passenger side is power operated. Nice, supportive, and very comfortable bucket seats with height and tilt adjustable head restraints.
multiple adjustments for the seats. On the lower dash panel, you have your brake release, your headlamp switch with front and rear fog lamps, your fresh air ventilation controls. You also have a leather wrap, non adjustable steering wheel. All right, and we're going to pan through the interior and show in a little more details. Nice fluid power assisted steering with a thick rim steering wheel. You've got your turn signal controls as well as your wiper washer controls, cruise controls, and a full set of instrumentation with warning lights. You have your fuel, fuel uh, gauge, temperature, oil pressure, and economy, 160 mile per hour spinometer, 7,000 RPM tack, and an analog clock. Two round air vents plus a exterior temperature display in degrees Celsius. You have your dome light switch as well as your power retractable antenna switch and your electric rear window defogger. Aftermarket Kenwood AM FM CD player, automatic climate controls, genuine burl walnut trim on the center console, power window switches, your power passenger mirror switch and your hazard four way flashers. Small amount of storage in the trinket tray underneath the armrest with carpeting. Manually dimming rear view mirror. You have adjustable sun visors with integrated vanity mirrors. The sun visors also fold out. Even though this is a hardtop roadster, you do have overhead assist handles. Nice full headliner as well. All right, we're going to look behind the seats. There's a lever, just flip up. Being that these are two passenger cars, it's just a parcel shelf back here. This one has been retrofitted with speakers. You also have a first aid kit. And that crank there is for the soft top. All right, and a quick look at the luggage area. Just pop it open with the push button. Trunk area is pretty nice and spacious, even for a car of this size. Nice flat load floor. The battery is mounted in the rear, as well as a spare tire underneath the mat. And this does conclude our in-depth walk-around look at the 1984 Mercedes-Benz. 380SL R107. We hope the review was informative, and as always, thanks for watching.